Um, Hello everybody, it's Mr. Carl and welcome to Virtual Storytime. This story time is very special because, drum roll, it's all about moms. So I thought I'd do a story time all about what moms love. So to start with, we have to figure out what moms love. Hmm, moms, 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 what do moms love? Oh, I know. Moms love snails, right? They love snails. They're always asking for more snails. I'm going to get some snails from the garden and I'm going to be right back here and we can start our Mother's Day story time, okay? You guys just wait right here. Okay, yeah. No? What? You mean moms don't like snails for Mother's Day? Hmm, okay, we'll have to keep thinking. What do moms love? What do moms love? Hmm. May oh, you know what? Banana pills. Mom love banana pills. I'm gonna go fill a bag with banana pills and bring it right back here. And then we're gonna have a Mother's Day part. No? Not banana pills? Okay, we gotta think harder. Think harder. Do you guys have any ideas what moms love? Hmm. You know what my mom loves? <gasps> Songs. My mom loves music. And it would be really cool if we could sing a Mother's Day song for our moms, right? Well, it just happens that I know one. You've probably heard of it before. It goes, it goes to the tune of, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So do you guys know that song? It goes... If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But since this is all about moms, we're going to change the lyrics a little bit, okay? It's going to go. If you love your mama, you know it, clap your hands. If you love your mama, you know it, clap your hands. If you love your mommy, you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love your mommy, you know it, clap your hands. Okay, do you got that? In every verse, we're going to change what we do, okay? Are you ready? Let's go. If you love your mommy, you know it, clap your hands. If you love your mommy, you know it, clap your hands. If you love your mommy, you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love your mommy, you know it, clap your hands. All right, you guys ready for verse two? If you love your mommy, you know it, blow a kiss. Mwah. If you love your mommy, you know it, blow a kiss. Mwah. If you love your mommy, you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love your mommy, you know it, blow a kiss. Mwah. All right, last verse, and we're actually going to learn some sign language. We're going to learn how to sign, I love you, okay? So the way you do that is you take your index finger, you point it directly in the middle of your chest for I, then you're going to cross your arms across your chest for love, and you're going to point directly at your mom for you, okay? That's how we say I love you. If you love your mommy, you know it, sign like this. If you love your mommy, you know it, sign like this. If you love your mommy, you know it, and you really want to show it. If you love your mommy, you know it. Sign like this. Good job, guys. You guys just learned a brand new way to say I love you and a new song. How exciting. And you know, while we're celebrating moms, you know, I think I know another thing that, mom, another thing that moms love. And that is books. Moms love love books and i just happen to have a book right here this book is called my mommy is magic and i am going to read it to you because moms are magic and we're going to learn how together are you ready okay this book is called mommy is magic and it is written by Carl Norak and illustrated by Ingrid Godden and read with permission from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt.
Mommy is magic. My mommy doesn't have a magic hat or wand. She doesn't need things like that. She's just magic. And look, they're wearing matching little headbands. How cute. Do you ever wear matching clothes with your mom? That'd be fun. When I have nightmares, my mommy chases the monsters away. Do you see that monster hiding in the closet with his silly orange toenails? There's no way he's getting past mama. When I whisper a secret in my mommy's ear, she guesses it before I finish telling it to her. Cause she's magic. And if I hurt myself, my mommy kisses the sword place and ta-da, it's all better. When my mommy swims with me, we go faster than the dolphins. That is pretty fast. My mommy's favorite dress is a blue one with little clouds on it. When she wears it, the sky is always clear. When my mommy plants seeds, flowers always grow. How many plants did they plant? I see one, two, three, four, five plants. When my mommy sings, butterflies come to listen. Look at all those butterflies. Should we count the butterflies too? We have a yellow one right here, that's one. We have a turquoise one right here, that's two. Then a red one right here, that's three. And a blue one makes four. A green one makes five. Another yellow one makes six. And another red one makes seven. Seven butterflies. Sometimes I magic too. When I sing and dance, I always make my mommy laugh. <gasps> Look at that crazy outfit she's wearing. Whose shoes are those? Are those her shoes? I don't think so. My mommy can make things appear for my birthday, she made a cake as big as a rocket. And she can make things disappear. When my mommy tells me stories, everything else falls away. There's only the two of us traveling through time and space. My mommy is magic, and when I grow up, I'm going to be magic too. The end. Give yourself a round of applause, you guys. Let's celebrate. We just read a book to our moms, with our moms. How exciting, because moms love books. So I think that's it for Mother's Day celebrations, right? I mean, we got the songs and we got the books they love. Do moms love anything else on Mother's Day? What else do moms want on Mother's Day? You know, there could be one thing. Moms, do you guys love cards? Should we make our moms a Mother's Day card? I think we should. So let's go and make a Mother's Day card for our moms, okay? All right. Hey everybody, let's get ready to make our Mother's Day craft. Today we're gonna to be making these Petunia and the Heart cards for Mother's Day. They're really fun and really cute. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a pencil, you're gonna need glue or a glue stick. I have a glue stick. You're gonna have scissors that are either kid safety scissors or make sure they fit your fingers and fit your hands, 
or you can have an adult cut for you. And you're gonna need five, no, six pieces of paper. You're gonna need one for your out heart, your big heart, one for your little heart, three for your petunia, and then one piece of green paper for your stem. It doesn't have to be this big, we need a tiny sliver of it. Okay, so let's get started. All right, everybody, so the first step is we're gonna take the paper we have for our big heart, and I chose purple because that's my mom's favorite color. We're gonna take that paper and we're gonna fold that hot dog style. You're gonna take your pencil and you're gonna draw half a heart. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, at home, you feel free to just use pencil, but so that you guys can see what I drew, I'm actually going to trace over it and marker. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Your mom's gonna love this part. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors and you're just going to keep the two pages together and you're gonna cut that heart shape out. And when you're done, you should have a heart shaped card. Next, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the inside color. And we're going to fold it hot dog style. Okay, and we're going to turn it right side up. And this time, you're going to draw a heart, but you're going to make sure that it's smaller than the first heart you drew. And when you're done, you should have a heart shape. Once we know where we want it, we're gonna actually glue it down. Okay, so we're gonna put a little glue on our purple heart. I'm also gonna put some glue on the back of my little heart. I want it to really stick, because it's gonna be holding up our flower. Okay. Next, we have to do our petunias. So, I have three colors here. I have pink, red and yellow. I am going to take all three of them, fold them together, and I'm going to fold them hot stock style. You're going to take your scissors, open it up, and you're going to cut right down that line. And you should end up with two sets of three, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your first set of three, and you're going to fold them hot dog style again. And then you're gonna draw your petunia. So the way you do that, you're just gonna draw a J shape. Then you're gonna draw a petal. And then you're just gonna draw another petal just like that. Okay, doesn't have to be perfect. Being careful to hold your papers together, put your thumb there, because you want to get three of the same shape and size petunia petals. Okay, excellent. Now, we need six. So, you're gonna take your second set of three that you haven't cut yet. You're gonna fold them in half. Then you're gonna take one of the petals you just did, and then you're gonna trace it. Because we want these to be almost exactly the same and size and shape. But again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're going to cut them out. And the result should be six of your petals. So when you have all your petals down, you're gonna take your glue stick, you're gonna take your first petal, you're gonna put some glue on just half, just this half. And you're gonna take another petal, and this is why they have to be close, and you're gonna glue them together. Not back to back, just one petal. You're gonna give it a little fold. Then you're gonna take the new petal that's sticking out, this yellow one, and we're gonna glue, once again, using just one petal, and we're gonna glue 
a second petal to there. There you go, we're starting to make our flower. Okay, and we're just gonna repeat that a couple more times until we have all our petals on there. And if you wanna put them in a certain order or a certain pattern, feel free. I'm just sort of sticking them on there one after the other, like this. All spread out like that. Okay, so that's our flower. All right, now we're gonna get our card and we're gonna do just the tiniest cut for our stem. And I'm gonna glue that down right here in the middle of my card. Then I'm gonna take my flower petal. I'm gonna take the flat side that doesn't have anything sticking out. And I'm gonna put glue on both flower petals on that side. I'm also gonna put glue right in the middle of my small flower. And I'm gonna open up my flower. And there you go. Your mom is gonna love that. And when you close it, you fold it right in half. You can write something like, to mom love crawl or your name if you can't write your name maybe you can have someone else to write and help you or what i used to do when i was younger is i just traced my hand so my mom knew it was for me all right guys thank you for joining me for this card craft hope you guys enjoyed the story time and i hope your moms enjoy your card thank you for joining me for virtual story time and i'll see you next time bye bye